All right, this is Calibos, and we are playing Antimatter Chemistry. <coughs> so, uh, in the last episode, we basically did everything leading up to the Scarab, and now we're making the Scarab. So, uh, we have our plate, or the faceplate thing. Now we need some demon metal ingots. So demon metal ingots are actually pretty easy to find if we get some nether bricks. Uh, we can, let's hop to the fortress. Um, their inventory a little bit. That can go away, go away. This needs to go here. I was gonna do emeralds, but I mean, guess we're not gonna do emeralds, right? Just um, let's actually toss this away to that. So this is going to be a thing that we're going to do at some point. Eat food. Badly. Home, Pigman. And from here, we're actually going to go to the Nether Fortress. Um, and the reason we need these nether bricks, so let's go... But there's a little thing that we have to do for human metal ingots. It's very complicated. Uh, this is an excessively complicated ritual, and I know that people are going to struggle with this. So, uh, don't feel bad. This is very challenging and you don't get it. Human metal ingots. I know, that was hard. So, uh, human metal ingots. Now, if we look at the scarab, the scarab is actually going to require a cobalt faceplate. So, let's look at cobalt. Cobalt. I think it requires requires um, eight. Should just be able to chuck this in, have it melt down. Golden. Rose red. All right, so that at emeralds. enough and empty so it was just eight ingots that should give us the faceplate and then this will give us the scarab and atom awesome awesome Let's 
some of our iron out here. Basically, I think we want... And let's make our scarab. Boom, scarab. Now we have unlocked the next chapter that gives us a bunch of bread, which clearly needed bread. Um, flat five by five layer of sandstone. Let's make some sand here, guys. Need 25 of this. Five. Uh, where do we want to put this? Do we want to put it down below? Uh, sure. got that. Now we need a square ring of sandstone um, on top of the previous layer. Make two block tall pillars of sandstone on top of each pillar. Fill the center with water. Toss a scarab in the water. So we'll need five, five, uh, six, Silicon. A grapes. And beyond this, we're going to need eight, eight more. sandstone and then we should pull <coughs> it. I really hope this works. Let let us find out. I've never done Aten before, so this will be one thousand percent new to me. So looking at our quest, uh, square ring, top of the previous layer, block all pillars of sandstone on top of each corner of the ring, fill the center with water, toss the scarab in the water. There's a picture. Oh! Well, oh, that was noise. I think we did it right. Wow, this this looks very deserty. Uh We 
do not like you. Why don't I have a sword? Where's my sword? Why are there guards? Oh, there's lava here everywhere. Uh. Well, dang it. So many people. Holy monkeys. Clearly, I need a fortress. What the heck? Strange sand. Like a freaking army out here. Assassins. Oh, I'm dead. Well, we're going to have to do that again, and we're going to have to figure out where my sword went. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had a sword. Um, Need another chemical dissolver. Uh, dissolver. So, and the reason we need another chemical dissolver is we are going to So, a little bit of this is me wanting to come up with a game plan for Atum. Clearly, a very violent and awful place. Uh, so, we need something with water, we need something with power. I mean, the water can be anywhere, so we'll put it here. <coughs> Operators. Those are going to fill with water. I, I think we can actually make some more evaporators at this point. Evaporator. One more of these. Let's go pop these down below. Go ahead and say item ducts. And we want 
chests to have, uh, the ender chests to have. We'll say black, red, green. So, uh, we won't use black. So, red's easy. Uh, we need another color, so yellow. Oh, Neil. Dandelions like crazy. Went from that one. Oh, we have dead. Throw that in there. There we go. Of course, we get two when we get one. We'll use this combination, which is going to be yellow, uh, green, yellow, red. We'll stop light combination. We put that there, and we put a on it. Always active, so that should just constantly be producing this stuff. And we can go ahead and put this somewhere with power. I didn't have to move it. I'll just put it back. How's that? So this is just going to give us a constant supply of just weird and random stuff. What are they called? They're salt. Mineral salt. So mostly we'll get uh, uh, basically, you know, sodium chloride. We'll get some lithium. We'll get some potassium chloride, magnesium, iron, copper, and zinc. So these aren't like easy, but the fact that it's going to give us iron and copper in larger amounts, uh, it will give us the lithium, which is okay, and basically sodium and. Which is cool, I guess. Uh, but it'll give us that constantly. Not, not bad. And we have spots for those. Uh, iron scimitar. Um. Hmm. Give it mint. Dirty coin. Toss in water to clean. I have no idea what dirty coin does. Let's toss it in water and clean it. That give us gold coins. So gold coins. Melted down. Nuggets. This gives us uh, 
mercy. Stone torches, chicken sandwiches. And we can go to chapter four. We have to kill two pharaohs, and that gives us a bunch of choices. Bottom of each is a sarcophagus. To fight the pharaoh inside, place a lit royal torch on the four corners around the sarcophagus, then right click. Boss is very. Unmodified steel armor and an unmodified blade are not sufficient. Buy the DLC for 20 coins. Oh man. We have to kill two pharaohs. That's ridiculous. Uh, we have to kill two of them. And then it unlocks the rest. So let's put this in a bobble slot. We're going to need it. That is... That's good. So let's eat the chicken sandwich. So what I'm kind of thinking is that we we need to look at our our armor here. Maybe figure out what what is best for us. We're making a pouch. Your pouch. So to make leather, we just need to make protein have protein let's look at Ender pouch. Now we're just going to like boom. So now we can just throw stuff in there and it will go away. That. That. Keep our food. Food pump. Iron chest. Item ducts. All that can stay. Torches, actor can stay. Your tank can probably stay. I think what we're gonna need, um, I think what we're probably going to need at this point is some sort of protective area. the recipe for a chicken sandwich at that slice. Okay. Eight RF a tick. So bread is forty RF a tick. Hundred is not very good. But if we farm chicken, I think we might turn into chicken farmers here, guys, because 
64 hour for tick is pretty good. Although, I mean, we're getting the other stuff for free with no labor. So maybe we won't. But we'll call it here. Uh, I'm gonna armor up a little bit. I'll figure out some decent armor. And uh, we'll, we'll make a little starting fortress in Etum to be uh, excited about. This is. So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave me a like. If you didn't, don't. Questions, comments, concerns can all go below. And, uh, any of this next episode, you guys can get and uh, watch me get beat up. Have a good night.